How bad is it? Basically, half our base is gone. Oh, what? How have they destroyed the dock? I don't know, I'm gonna go check. The only person I can imagine that did it would probably be the cave ones. They have a T-Rex. And they're the closest people that live next to us. No, they didn't touch the dock. Okay, but did you kill any of the dinosaurs? I'll put it this way. There's one dinosaur that survived. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Which one it was it? The Megalodon. Because they didn't see it, probably. Oh my god. Who did it? I don't know. Because I wasn't killed. So I don't know. I'm not gonna go check. I'm gonna if you're dead, then you might be able to see who killed you. I'm gonna murder that. So I guess you didn't dead. die either. But did they really destroy half of our base? Yes. So you know that I, the only thing I can do that is either a T-Rex or a Spino. But how could they yeah. kill everything off? That would take like two T-Rexes. No, they could do it with one. And they broke all our chests. And took all our stuff. It's not good, There's it's nothing not left. Because now they know some. where we live, and that means they can just continue. There's literally nothing left except for some hide and some, oh, some dyes. So it didn't tell whoever did it. Well, if you weren't killed, then no. But they killed a lot of dinosaurs. Wouldn't it show? Also came the condo, that's like five hours. Oh, it just crashed. Back. Wanna well, try to go rebuild the base? Well, obviously. Uh, well, I need uh, a way to get... have no mounts, I'm very excited. Yep, back to the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna go check if Opstat is alive. He's in here, I think. Yep, he's still alive. Okay, so the purpose is didn't kill him. They didn't kill any of us, I think so that we wouldn't know who it was. So now we don't know who it was that raided us. They're such wimps, they could have at least killed us so that we know who it was. Instead they just destroyed half the house and killed every single dinosaur. Honestly, if we don't find out who we did, I'm gonna go to... I think it's the last of the cave ones. If we found a saddle, I, I think it's bad. Because yesterday I didn't see a saddle. And they came from the exact spot where they lived. It would make sense. They got the thing to break in, they got the thing to kill. And it's possible, but we don't know anything. At least they left the dock alone. Um, do you mind if I go and go check out the cave one? Just to see. It wasn't really suspicious sure. and actually just lost the So I'm gonna start tearing down the base from the top. It's funny because. Uh, yesterday we were worried that the Megalodon will die, but instead all the other dinosaurs died except for the Megalodon. <laughs> it's stupid, I it's stupid. So funny. say that anymore. <laughs> it's funny though, isn't it? Like, ironic. It's so ironic, that was so stupid too. <laughs> well, today certainly was a strange day, as we logged on after an update that didn't let us log on for like a couple of hours, because the server wasn't updated. Um, we logged on and of course our base was raided, all our dinosaurs were killed, except for the Megalodon that was hiding away in the waters of our port. And now we have to rebuild, so I've been busy collecting stones and taming a couple of dinosaurs. I already have this little guy named Steel, looks pretty cool, nice coloration, very contrasty. I've been putting health on him so he doesn't die quickly. But yeah, he's kind of like my guard dog. And then I'm also taming a Pteranodon over there. I'll show you that in just a sec. And we've already tamed a Stego and 
a pteranodon and some other things and I'll show you that when I head back but for now I'm just gonna gather most more stones because of course we're switching our walls and our house to stone because it can't be destroyed by dinosaurs you need uh, c4 or uh, grenades to blow it up so that should help us against any possible future raids but yeah it's kind of grindy but it's got to be done as part of the game I guess it was an interesting experience for sure because eventually I guess everybody gets raided and uh, yeah it was kind of interesting but of course at the same time it sucked that we lost basically all our dinosaurs and all our resources but yeah that's what this game is we were of course uh, talking I was talking with Toxin and Opstat about what we're gonna do to retaliate and if we do find out who raided us, of course we're going to have to retaliate somehow. And hopefully we can gear up enough to have rifles for everybody. Perhaps um, a bunch of ammo. And then if we do find their base, you know what will happen. Yeah, but the first biggest obstacle we have to overcome is figuring out who did raid us. Because they didn't kill us. Because I think they're just wimps. So they didn't want our death messages to pop up to show who actually messed up our base so I guess they're kind of trolls they go around destroying people's bases without actually taking responsibility for it but uh, that's how it is and it's okay we'll find them eventually all right so here's the Tehran zone that I'm actually taming right now pretty cool coloration black and pink uh, let's use this up real whoa looks like it's about to bite my face Put some torpor in him right here. I think that should do it. Yep, yeah. so he does look pretty cool. He was just flying around right outside the base, and I was like, I'm just gonna tame myself a Tyrandon. Start leveling him up. Once I get a saddle, I'll have a nice uh, mount to fly around on. And uh, I think Opstat is actually over there taming a dolphin. Uh, Ichthyosaur, actually. But it's basically a dolphin. I need to eat. Whoops. But yeah, here's uh, the stone walls we're working on. They're higher level than, or higher tier than the wood, of course. And you can't really break it with a dinosaur. You need some sort of explosive device. So it's a lot safer than wooden walls that we had. We're almost actually finished. Just this little section or at least the first layer this section is left here but yeah it takes uh let's see 15 stone for the foundation and then 40 stone for each uh, wall piece so it's kind of expensive which is why it takes a while to grind all the materials but here's our house i've tore up a bit of it so we can start replacing everything with stone foundation stone walls and here's our temporary storage where I throw all the things and stuff in here. There we go. Well, yeah. so that's what we have so far. And this episode will be pretty much rebuilding. Here's Squirtle that we tamed. Our Stego for gathering berries. Uh, let's. What should we put on him? Put a little weight on him so he can carry more. And I think this is Obstat's new Toronto that he tamed. And he also has a Dillo named Ruby. But yeah, so this is our situation currently. I'm going to continue working on this stone re rebuild of our base. Time to trank a Bronto. Because this guy has been annoying me. Running around our base. Face. Run, 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 jump, and turn. Go down, sir. Go down. No need to resist. Jump, turn. In the face. In the face. In the face. Run, 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 jump. Go down. Okay, I'm gonna run around. He's probably gonna knock me into the water. 
Go down, please. Yep. I'm running, running, running. Jump. Oh, no. I'm stuck. You must go down eventually. What happened to my bow? Oh. Lag. Jump. Turn. Go down, please. I oh, only have nine tranks left. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. I think this guy's level 19. Maybe that's why I'm having trouble. Could probably tame it actually. Level 19 is pretty high. Have it start. Um. A leveling up passively. Okay, I might have a trouble. With, I might have trouble taking it down. Oh, you kidding me? Two tranks left. One in the one in the bow. Okay. One in the bow. One left. Dude, this is not good. Please go down. Body shot. And that's it. This guy is very tough. Starving. Eat the berries. Run. Oh no. I think I'm fast. Been upgrading my speed. Okay, he's tranking. Is he going down? Punch. I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. If I don't run away. Blood back. Save me. It's going down. It's going down. Nice. It went down. Good job, man. Right on. So, what should we do with it? <laughs> it was a level 19. We should probably try to tame it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I emptied like 40 tranks into him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had like 10 maybe that I did on him. Alright, I guess uh, we'll tame it. <laughs> so apparently this thing prefers the purple berries? Yeah, the, the mezos. Pretty much every herbivore okay. does. Uh, until they change it to where different ones prefer different ones or different kinds. And the first ring is complete. Now I just need to make a second layer, which is of course going to take forever. But I think we might have to put off on hold for now. As we tame the Bronto and the Pteranodon here. Because those are going to require some looking after. I must say this stone foundation is looking pretty solid. I'm liking it. This whole floor is going to be turned into stone foundation. And this house is going to be rebuilt with wooden walls. And probably wooden ceiling. Or uh, I mean stone ceiling. Or stone reinforced ceiling I think it's called. But yeah. All this stuff, stone ceiling, stone door frame, stone, and reinforced wooden, so it's reinforced with stone, I don't know. Either way, the stone tier, and hopefully that will help quite a bit against future attacks. So yeah, this is taking a lot of stone, so back to grinding I go. Woohoo! Okay, so I've got my first Pteranodon from... Or past or post raid. What should we name it? Let me look at it again. It's a very interesting coloration also. Black and pink. Hmm. I got it, I got it, I got it. Change name. There you go. That's your name. You better be happy. Bubblegum. I don't know. 
I saw the pink and I thought of Bumblegum. So there you go. So I just leveled up to level 55. And I believe that unlocks the Brontosaurus saddle. Argentavis Bronto. <sighs> That's so awesome. And a refrigerator. Oh man. And an air conditioner. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Assault rifle. Advanced rifle bullet. Emily Craft at the fabricator. Laser attachment. No way. Adds a laser sight. Holoscope attachment. More accurate aiming. Behemoth gateway. This is some crazy stuff. That's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to learn the Bronto saddle since we're taming a Bronto. Um, and for now, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to go talk to Opstat. See what he thinks. Oh, nice. I, I can make the Bronto saddle. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's perfect, man. Y yeah. That's, uh, what do you need? I'm going to go check right now. It's, I think you have to make it in the smithy. Alright, so let's check out what this is. Bronto. 40 ingots. Okay, ready? So 350 hide, 185 fiber, and 40 metal ingots. Which isn't too bad. Okay. I'm, I'm going to make a tarot saddle right now. So All right. you can start farming the, the metal. Alright, cool. Should I get the Argentavis saddle as well? Because I could learn that as well. I think so, yeah. Okay. And I could also learn the automatic rifle, the advanced bullets. I don't know if I should right now or wait. I think we should wait on that. We okay. Should probably hold off on that. All right. So, yeah. Let's go down again. There's the saber tooth. I'm not going to learn that yet because we don't have a saber tooth. Argentavis, yes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man. Yes. That's crazy. We finally tamed it. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Biggest dinosaur in the game, and we got it. Nice. Yep. I'll go get the saddle. Alright. So, yeah, we tamed the Bronto. The incredible, huge Bronto. Oh man, I just hope it survives the night without anybody killing it. But yeah, that's that's just crazy. Pretty big achievement for us. So I'm just gonna go grab the saddle that I made. There it is. All right. Yeah, hold the torch. Can't see nothing. Oh man. There it goes. Oh snap, that's a big saddle. That's yeah. crazy. Oh man, give it a go, man. That is huge. Oh. Leg. How the hell do you get on this thing? Uh try coming up to its leg. Oh snap, you're up there. Jeez. <laughs> this thing is huge. Try harvesting. Alright, I don't wanna hit you though, I don't know if it's gonna hit you. I don't think it should. Yeah, I'm good. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty decent, huh? I think this thing can harvest wood as well, can it? I have no idea. I just know it's crazy. <laughs> oh snap. Wow. Wow. This is so cool. Can't believe we actually got it. 
spent several hours taming it while working on rebuilding with stone structures and we finally got it oh, man. look at it run it's so cool shaking the ground oh my goodness it's an earthquake oh. this thing is huge it's awesome it is it's so cool Oh man. Now, where to park it? It won't fit through the gate, so. No, I'll... we need the behemoth gate. Yeah. I mean, I could learn that too. It's all 55 stuff. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. We just need the metal for it. Oh, okay. That is so cool. The thing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small yeah. area. Yeah. We might need to build another one. Oh, for another sure. Like yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking we're going to have all, like, sorts of pens eventually. Uh, okay. Uh, it's chasing me. Yeah. That is cool, though. Well, this is epic. I don't know. I just think it's super epic. Right, what happens when I get off? Oh, he's just right inside of it. Following Chango. Oh, he's going back. He's going back to base because he's still following Chango or Opstat. He's breaking all the trees. He's stomping everything. Oh, man. Oh. Here we go. Oh, he's following you. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Scary him going up on the boulders and stuff. I feel like I'm going <laughs> to fall off. Let's <laughs> ride. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. I think I'm going to park it right here. What do you think? Have to come down. That's crazy. Well, there you have it, guys. We tamed a Bronto. We rebuilt the wall too high. It's been kind of a unexpected um, topic for an episode because we got raided. But yeah, it kind of actually turned out interesting because we got a bunch of new dinosaurs and we started rebuilding this main house to stone and it's looking pretty good just a lot of stone grinding though to do left so yeah thanks for joining me and i'll see you guys next time bye bye